Wassail, wassail, beautiful people. New moon in Scorpio. So I have moon in Scorpio, because it can be just the moon in Scorpio at any moment. It doesn't just have to be a new moon. And I also have Scorpio because that's sun in Scorpio in many ways. So I thought we would look first of all at the polarities because this is a very powerful moon. It's in Scorpio. <laughs> Did you know it's in Scorpio? Um, and so here we have three, five, eight, and eight. It's an eight, eight opportunity. It's a moment where you're moving almost, you're a wisp away from the divine, uh, peeping through the veil. So Moon in Scorpio is besting Bet Noirs. I know you're all going, what's a Bet Noir? It's a dark beast. It's the things you torture yourself with that you've created. So this is the energy of whale songs. Mm, they're kind of like divine chords from beyond the music of the spheres. They're almost that energy of the vacuum um, between them, the space between. It's the sound behind the spheres. Um, it's also the portal of redeath. So it's that moment when you look and you say, I'm going to die today to livingly, to stay alive and be birthed by yourself. But to do that, you need to absorb and face some pains. And that's where this one comes in, Sun in Scorpio, because they're in conjunction. That's what a new moon's all about. This is deep X-ray dri driving. <laughs> Diving, deep x-ray diving, seeing through yourself, seeing through our delusions, seeing through those things that we tell ourselves that are blocking us. So this is a percussive rim shot. This is that looking in a cosmic mirror. Are you still distorted? Or are you clear on who you are? This is the opportunity from subl subliminal masks, those masks that we wear that we're not aware we're wearing, <laughs> where, 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 to supraliminal truths. That's the space between. That's the whale song tune. So you can see how these two energies are working together. Uh, it's separation undoing solutions, things you think you've solved. But if we're really honest with ourselves, we haven't solved. I keep thinking I've solved my petulance. Because <laughs> I have so much cardinal, powerful energy for change that I am consumed by it. And every time I've been on a long three-year journey to be patient, I think I'm patient. Poi Poi in the deck says no. <laughs> So, intensifying emotions, it will get very intense at the moment. Um, this is sung realm, see whale song, sung realm, recreation. When you're recreating you within your world, that's the opportunity here with this new moon. Um, and it's also redefining core essentials recognize your shadow seductions, the parts of your character that are shadows that you love to play with. Go inside them, find the nutrients in them, and then redefine. No, well, mm, redefine your core essentials, but redeem, the, redeem those essential nutrients for growth. Sorry, I could hear something going, mm, it wasn't one of the dogs in here, so it must be a dog elsewhere. A little bit stressed. This is fixed water. And you can say that's fixed, it's not changing. That's not the truth. That's just how it manifests and materialises around you. 
with the old tune of the moon. You have to transform that energy. It's down to us to make something new of our lives. So I put them back because then they can pop out. And um, we're going to go with Lafruma first and get some rune magic. So I'm doing a little, uh, today I'm absorbing all the chaos that Eris can throw at me into my heart <laughs> to bring order to the world around me. It's not an overnight thing. Nothing is, well, um, some things are. <laughs> You know, a journey back to you is a long layer of stripping layers and layers of onions. You know, I'm never going to do a reading that says, this is the most important message, your whole world's going to change. Well, it is, your whole world is going to change, but not with the flick of some fibby light switch that's not true, but it gets a lot of attention. That's not the path to solutions. You're being played. So, it's really sticky. <laughs> they're usually really slippy. But they're, they're, they're like... you got to really pull with your deep x-ray diving eyes. So one message, it's really sticky. What's going on, molasses? This morning when I was playing with them, they were really slippy. Now they're sticky. Oh, no, look, now it's changing. <laughs> See what a new moon can bring to you. Oh, look, Anwila. That's a sticky energy. Oh, with elks. Anwila and Elks. I feel like there's a spanner in the works, but I oh know there's a spanner needed in the works and you need to put the spanner in the works. <clears throat> or the wrench, if that's what you call it. In the UK, we call it a spanner. So look, Anwila, we are all born to lock horns with life, to bring trouble and tussle to those fool enough to try ruling us. The grip of youth fights for its truth. Think about things, go back to your youth. What were the passions? What were the desires that you wanted to change in your world but never materialized? They can, but you have to change you. Strike the death knell history bell and blast out the past. So the portal of redeath is to just go, all of the things <clears throat> that have been part of my life, good, bad, and ugly, I resign them. I put them in the past. They no longer affect my progress forwards. I'm turning round and I'm facing towards my future. And then that future that you're preparing for yourself, your birth, can bring you into your now. And that's your birthing moment. And so you have Elks. Elks is about this notion of being much more versatile, bringing in a kind of flexibility, bringing in, you know, you remember being young. I've said it before just now. <laughs> remember when you were young and you didn't know who you were going to be when you grew up? It's the same now. <laughs> Who do you want to be when you really grow up? When your soul grows up? Who do you want to be? Try on some new ideas. Put on some masks and discover whether they actually fit you. Because in truth, they are your truth. Or whether they're just another mask that needs to be removed. You know, it's playful personality time. <laughs> so what else? Le pruma, le pruma. I have so many things I want to share with you at the moment, but I can only do it if the cards appear. I promised. <laughs> it 
it would be so easy just to sit here and just chat at you. But I want to explore it in the order that it wants to reveal itself. That was a really interesting fall and bounce energy. This is a bouncy energy. Ooh, it's candle, the day star. So that is the sun in Scorpio at the moment. And the weird Hamir. So this, there's a playfulness right now to igniting your soul. Your soul is like a bouncing ball and you're bouncing it. And sometimes, you know what? It slips out your hand and goes off in another direction. But that doesn't matter. When you're a child, you just go and retrieve the ball and start again. And start again. That's what we're being given the opportunity to do. At any moment in life, we can start again. So weird to me, uh, weird is love. You know, love is the frequency behind everything. It's the frequency behind all the magic. You can see the energy, the shape of this room inside this room. It's here. It's here. It's, there's multiple ways in which you can find your truth within all the magic, but you need the magic to start sparkling around you. And it's not gonna sparkle around you in the old energy. Punctuate, perforate, mark and scent your distinct new hood for your good to be stamped, revamped and retuned. Check my lyrics. Because you are your own songwriter. So, oh no, I wasn't going to do that yet. I was going to put some runes on the runes. I bring these down here because they're noisy. I don't want to frighten anybody's ears if they've got headphones on. <laughs> there was a terrible part of me that wanted to shout boo then, make you all jump. So here we have 25. Oak, ache. You see, it's interesting, it is oak, or oak, oak. It's this energy of support. It's this energy of the natural world, the physical world, wanting to support you on this journey. But you need to know what aches within you. And what, what of those aches are hurting you to be left behind? And what are those aches are your truth? The whale song singing from within you, trying to reach out and ignite itself into the world of magic. I'm seeing sparklers, that's interesting. I've not thought of them for a very long time. We've had all our fireworks times. I'm seeing people drawing energy in light. Drawing energy in light. You can do this in your head. You can draw energetic shapes. You can write wishes in light. Because the beginning behind the entire physical world is the emergence of the light from the darkness. That's how the universal mind began. By pouring aether on... Mm, extracting, separating the light from the dark so that that primal chaos can have some sense of order. So that's that Eris energy, again, that I'm working with today. And then that light became fire, aether fire, that energy of the creative aethers, the fire builders. Wands, the first suit in the tarot. And now we have eh, 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 eh. That's kind of what it's doing. <laughs> it's like, eh, are you going to move? Are you going to move? Are you going to get off the old horse? Start walking your own journey? I don't know, are you? <laughs> I am. And you know what? I don't care what kind of chaos comes towards me now. 
whatever comes towards me, everything is dissolved in my heart. Just nothing seems to be bothering me anymore. Brom. Sweeping aside all the stains. Scrubbing your world. Making your world a better place. And I know, look, you will, you will move into this and that bouncing ball will slip out of your hand again. But just go get it. Don't allow the chaos and confusion that others try to push into you because they want you to feel as anxious as them. And you just say to yourself, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm only going to walk in the energy of trusting, loving, weird to me and magical frequencies. It's really testing me today. <laughs> So this one is Leaf, 47. I find these short branch rings still a bit confusing at times. So you can again, you can see this hidden within the all room. You can see the energy of a line down, a line across, and then another little line. All the magic is hidden in the physical world. Your body is from the physical world. It's trying so hard eh, eh, to unfurl into the magical energies, the loving energies, the soul energies. But you have to work to do it. You have to recognize that your cells are part of the physical magic. Rather than looking at yourself and just going, I hate my body, it's really a lot about that kind of energy. Transforming your perception of how you sing and soothe your cells and your biome. So, alchemy and sound astrology. What have you got as a moon message? What have you got as a moon message? We've got wolf protection, antimony or antimony. Depends how you want to say it. So you can see the lovely wolf down here looking up at the alchemical symbol of antimony. Now, if I turned this up this way, you would recognize this as a sign of Venus. <clears throat> When it's this way up, <clears throat> for me, it has this energy of Aether. So this is the family songbook. <laughs> they went burning. Don't burn it. <clears throat> so the family songbook, the tunes you come in with, the songs that sing from your soul, the whales out there are trying to sing new melodies, they're giving you new earworms to work with. So if at the moment you are hearing tunes in your head over and over again, go look up the lyrics, read the lyrics. If you don't like the lyrics, write them to suit your song. The tune is a framework, just change the intentions. I mean, I'm still getting that Barry Manilow. <laughs> I am the, I am the, I am the one that makes the whole world sing. I keep getting that, but I've changed the lyrics because I didn't like his lyrics. They were, they were of an old time, not a time I want to be moving in. So this is the energy of having Aether as love. To begin to connect with another part of yourself that just feels divinely contented. And it, look, it is a hard energy. There's also this exhausting frequency within this card of a need to be ever vigilant because you're kind of watching over your shoulder that people don't disturb your calm because they will. So you have to learn at first to be very vigilant around the energies that other people want to give you when you're on your divine path. This is a divine 13, it's a six and a seven. 
Actually, I must look at the Matonic calendar. I just remembered that. Oh, I won't want to finish the breathing. <laughs> but I was thinking about it this morning when I was out walking. The Matonic calendar. I need to know uh, 12 and 13 moon cycles of this year and last year because I've forgotten. It's like I dropped that ball and I'm going to go pick it back up. So, look. There's quite a big sp spillage here. What's this one? Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> I don't know what to do. So I'm going to go with this because it's very clear. Mirror of Chaos. Bringing Aether ordering. This is almost talking about, um, Poi Manda's turned up. Poi Poi's here. And Poi Poi is talking about dissolving ancestral tunes. This is a chance to let go of things. And we've got this esoteric shadow feasting coming up with the Monas Hieroglyphica, secret knowledge. But this... Is that energy when the mind, the mind of everything, first created the physical world from the Massa Confucer, fire, aether fire, created order. So there's something about creating order, our own order, to our own world. And here, Poi Poi is showing you how when you work with poi poi and i still haven't explained things about poi poi but i see <laughs> i could hear him all morning saying i'm getting close but i can't do it unless he begins a reading because it needs to be about him but so this is showing how the mind of the multiverse is that i'm going to read poimander Poimandr. Poimandr is mind. Okay? And it's the dragon of creation. It's the mason of the multiverses. Yeah, because the Aether races, the fire builders, that organize the soot into life, they're still all Poimanda. This is the establisher of every known law. And I do want to say that that's part of this changing. The laws that have always been established as the hermetic truths are changing. As the great attractor moves ever further away, the energy transforms. At first, humans that Poi Poi created were hermaphrodites in spirit and even in the physical world. And then that division was made into gendering things. So because Poi Manda wanted it, Poi Poi decided. Poi Poi is now deciding to transform yet another part because it's about turning over new pages and Poi Poi enjoying new stories that we create. It's time to create a new story for Poi Poi. Um, so there's an energy I'm picking up here, which is if Poi Poi's mind is like a giant film studio telling wonderful visual and oral stories, do you want to keep auditioning to be a bit player in somebody else's story? Or do you want to become the director, the composer, the writer and the star of your own story that you can share with Poi Poi? So you have this gift coming. 12-12. It's like an energy of a heightened spiritualness divine wisdom is in the shadows but you need to kind of go in muncher shadows remove all these ancestral reverberations this early music ensemble the old tunes 
and turn yourself into an energy of inspirational mysticism. Look, you don't need to have hermetic truths right now to start starring in your own movie. You just need to start to be your own projection, to tell your story. And yeah, do you know what? It can be really mundane to begin with, because how exciting would it be when you get onto the second episode and suddenly things are beginning to get mystical and magical and people are like, whoa, did you watch season one? I really had no idea where it was going in season two. This is what you're working with. You don't need the truths yet. They will come as you tell your story and they will be personal to your journey. Not my journey. I'm just explaining what I did to get myself into that beautiful heart energy. And I feel like I'm writing quite an interesting story now. Even if it's only for me and Poi Poi, it doesn't matter. So here we have Esoteric Shadow Feasting. Lunar lucidity, sunless solutions, and that's that idea. Solutions that come even though there was no light there to show you the solution. You didn't have the knowledge. You trusted in your ability to be the storyteller, the maker of your own life, the narrator of the bedtime stories that you tell Poi Poi. So let's just have a little look at the energy uh, polarities you're working with here. Durable or temporary? You know, Poi Poi made this world. It's durable. It's not temporary. We're temporary, but we need to become more durable. We need to tell better stories. I am sorted or I am disorganized. The chaos is disorganized, but within the chaos are all the Lego bricks to build such beautiful scenery around you and then act your ass off. <laughs> so, Neptune, I am fogged or I am clear. You're fogged by the reverberations that are in your codings. Change them. Write a new story. Break all the rules. Because this is what this is. Rule breaking. Boy, boy doesn't want you to keep doing the same stories. Poi Poi wants you to resolve your own dimensions your own way because all of Poi Poi's answers are in you. They've always been in you, but you just haven't known how to go inside yourself, munch on those shadows and find the nutrients in there to grow. So the polarity on Poi Poi is I am Poi Mandra. I am Poi Mandra. Because <laughs> this is the movie studio of the entire multiverses. As I said, Mason of the multiverses made everything. So now it's time for you to rent yourself a lot in life and tell your movie to Poi Poi and to everyone else that might be listening. There are other beings that watch these moments through our lives. You know, our guides, they're watching our movie do you think they want to just see you stuck doing the same old thing? We're like, oh God, we're on episode 5006 and nothing's changing. Getting a bit bored. <laughs> Change your tune. Skip that track. Move on to another one. So I am umbral. Umbral is shadow. That's why an umbrella is not to keep the rain off you. It's to keep the sun off you, to keep you in an umbra. Take down the umbrella, be unveiled. Unveil yourself, tell a new tale. And then secret wisdom. I am foolhardy or I am wise. Oh, this is interesting that this came up because today, this is my column that I'm working on today with Eris. I chose Eris to go with this column today because there's a kind of foolhardy chaos. There's this. It's like, actually, that's what it's like. It's between, it's the wisdom hidden in the chaos to create something wonderful. That's what I'm working on, but through the energy of Eris today. I'm vacuuming up all the chaos. I'm munching on all those chaotic shadows 
so that I can order them, I can create something with them. And then at the very end, just that turned over on the very top of the deck but didn't fall, is Aries, North Node. This is a really important energy for us all to remember at the moment. This is about flaming action. Aether, action, action. See, it's all written, it's all written in there. One man band, start your story as a monologue. You don't need any other characters at the moment. You can audition people to join your film at some other point. But stop being in everyone else's film. Start telling your film, episode by episode, scene by scene. Actualizing your inner potential. And this is the breaker of bonded boundaries. It's time to break out of your old... And I feel like it is just auditioning. You're a bit part in the background. You know you're an extra. Stop being an extra. Be a star in your own movie. Expel volatilities. This is calcination. Calcination is the application of Aether to create a world of magic around you. Full of deep esoteric secret wisdom, sacred geometry. I just want to look down here. This is imperious. Don't don't start your movie big. You know, don't be a demiurge. Don't be a kind of mystical wonder when you're not. You know, we've all done that. And then raw masculine in divine clothing. Don't go hiring a wardrobe team <laughs> to dress you up as something you're not. Start the movie slowly, small, and in your own truth. So don't try and be recklessly in command <laughs> of limited magic. <laughs> oh, poor John D. I have funny moments with John D where I can't work out where I stand with him. Anyway, this is sacred geometry. This is arcana. The creation of oneness, not oneness, look, not oneness with the whole world. You aren't that energy yet. You're not that kind of wizard. Oneness with Poi Poi. Oneness with yourself. Tell your story, not the echoes of others. This is also science as magic. I'm just going to leave that phrase out there because it's the, the, the energy of this card is your core magic. And that's part of the notion of your personal grimoire, which is your south node. And so since we've got that energy pointing at the north node, it's like what of the gifts, what of the stories will help you that you came in with to write your story, to write your tale free from the ancestral reverberations? The draining delusions. You see, it's cobalt is uh, uh, energy here which stores old energies. You need to flush the cobalt out from your livers, kidneys and spleen. I don't know how you do that. I'm just being told it's time. I guess it's sieving the past, trying on those masks, going, no, that's not my truth. Put on another one, play another scene. No, that's not my truth. But find a way to settle into the story of the movie of your life and make it grow into a blockbuster. It's a beautiful thing. So I just want to quickly peek at the bottoms of the decks. Oaths. This is Poi Poi. This is the energy, but this is more Nithogia because it's about the vessel in which you, we inhabit, our consciousness, our poi poi frequency made physical, nithogir, but it is holy vessel territory. And then psyche, deifying yourself, sailing with this as your creative consciousness, being actioned in the movie physically of your life.
So it has the return of lost love. Psyche goes in search of Eros when he stops being in love with her through an error, and she goes in search of him. But this is about return of lost love, self-love. Find a way to love the story you tell. Find a way to make yourself able to break through all of those bonded boundaries that you've kind of closed your world in with. And look, as I said, it doesn't have to be massive. It can start really small. It's just about stepping outside of the old narratives and attempting to walk a new tune. But tell your story to Poi Poi. I will do... We will do a poi poi reading soon. But he has to come out at the beginning, or she has to, or it has to. It is ungendered. It is everything. So anyway, that's the moon tune for today. So what's we'll beautiful, beautiful people?